Welcome back to day two of me building a dream primary bedroom. Today we're saying goodbye to boring white walls and hello to this. But first I did a little paint prep. I said goodbye to the curtains I hate and I patched up all the holes. When I was trying to find a paint color, I kept thinking of places that were really special to me and my husband and Jackson, Wyoming just kept coming to mind. It's a place we love going to relax and I want this room to feel the same way. And whenever I think Jackson, I think green. So I went to Ace with the color green in mind and wow, there was about 8,000 options of green waiting for me. But thankfully Benjamin Moore has a color trans palette for 2024 and I need someone to tell me what is in and cool. And working with Benjamin Moore, they did that for me. This is antique pewter. It is the most beautiful color I've ever seen. It's moody and rich, and it honestly really reminds me of what I did in my bathroom with a different Benjamin Moore paint, but I just feel like this one has more green undertone, whereas the other one had more brown. And if you are scared that I'm doing this on the ceiling, I just need you to trust the process. It's going to look so good. I did a second coat to finish it off, which is really all you need with this paint because it's such high quality and so pigmented. And in the midst of my painting, I discovered I could change the color of my light. It's not going to look like a dentist office anymore. I decided last minute to paint inside the window bays. I just think this makes it look more cohesive. I will never not be amazed at how much paint transforms a room. It's the easiest way to do it. The 2024 color color trans palette is in my bio but we still have a lot more to do tomorrow this room is getting all new furniture i'm going to become a professional flipper and we're going to trauma bond